Hello guys, Zanja here and as you can see I have the OnePlus X over here with me and in this video I am going to show you guys how to update your Oxygen OS to the latest build and this method will work on uh, OnePlus 2 also so if you have OnePlus 2 then just simply follow this method and if you have rooted the device just like I have rooted the device over here then even if you get the update and if you go into system update you can see there is an update which is present if you try to install this update then it won't be able to install and it will result in an error so in this video let's see how to install the latest update of oxygen os on the oneplus x or the oneplus 2 and yes this method will also work on rooted oneplus 2 just make sure that you download the zip files of your respective device like if you have oneplus x then download files of oneplus x and if you have oneplus 2 then download files of oneplus 2 so yeah just do that and now go into settings once again then go into about phone then there will be an oxygen os version over here so as you can see for me it is 2.1.3 you need to download the full zip file of this version that is 2.1.3x all the links will be in the description box below so do not worry about that or if you have a higher version like 2.3 or 2.4 or even 3.0 then just download the complete zip file of that version and then download the OTS zip file also and if this was confusing for you then I'll give you one example currently 2.1.3x is the current version of oxygen OS that I have and 2.2.0 is the update so what I'll do is I'll download the complete zip file of 900 or 1 GB of this 2.1.3x which will be linked in the description box below and I'll download the OTA zip file of 2.2.0 which will be again linked in the description box below uh, for the oneplus x I'll be maintaining the xdr thread so don't worry about that just download both the zip files and put them in your internal storage so as you can see I have put them in the internal storage so the full zip file which is of 0.88 GB as you can see over here is the full zip file of 2.1.3x and 39.90 uh, MB is the update which we are going to install and now we just need to boot into the TWRP recovery for that go into settings then go into about phone tap on the build number 7 times then you will enable the develop options and make sure to select advanced reboot from here and after that long press the power button select reboot select recovery and it ok now the device will boot into the TWRP recovery so we have booted into the TWRP recovery now select install over here and select the complete zip file which was of 0.88 MB and that was over here uh, so as you can see this is the complete zip file and just swipe to confirm flash you do not need to wipe anything it will just get installed by itself so as you can see the zip file installation is complete now and now we need to flash the latest zip file or the latest OT update and for that go into install once again and now select the OT zip file which was of 30 or 30 60 MB maybe and the best way to come to know if the zip file which you have selected is OT zip file or not uh, it will be written as 006 to 008 or 00 something to 00 something so and it will be written as patch so this means that you have selected the OTA zip file and not the full zip file and once you select that just swipe to confirm flash so now the OTA zip file installation is also completed and uh, now simply press home and if you were using any type of kernel or if you want to root your device once again then you need to install the super SU zip file or the kernel zip file once again you can do it right now also or you can do it later on and to do that simply going to install select the super SU zip file or the blue spark kernel or any other kernel which you are using zip file of that kernel select that and just install and uh, yeah your device will be rooted once again uh, but if you do not want to do that then simply go ahead and select reboot select system and it will reboot the device so as you can see we have successfully booted into the phone now so the first thing we should do is go into settings whoever and as you can see the latest version of oxygen os is successfully flashed and it is 2.2.0 so huge thumbs up to us or uh, and if you had flashed the blue spark kernel and you had changed the file system to f2fs then i would suggest you to flash the kernel once again otherwise you might get a error like uh, encryption unsuccessful and if you do not want to do that then you can reset the phone and uh, get back it works so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to add this video to your favorites or uh, to whatever playlist you have because in future 
this video might be of a very good reference for you if you want to update the phone to the latest build that you have and if you have not subscribed already then do hit that subscribe button because many more videos on the oneplus x are going to come real soon so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching